Yo, you want to go from beginner to pro trader? Listen, I promise y'all, it ain't as hard as you think. A lot of y'all making it way too difficult. It's a lot of things that you got to get under control if you want to get to the next level of your trading, all right? People always say, oh, well, 98% of traders lose. Let me tell you why that is. 98% of traders lose because they give up before they even get started, right? You got people that just come in because they heard about it. They heard you can get rich. They heard you can make a lot of money with it. They get in, they lose money in the first week, and they're out of there. You know what I'm saying? And they, I guess statistically they're considered a trader, but that's not really the case. A lot of people don't give it enough time. I was listening to a video by Myron Golden. If you don't watch him, very wise guy on YouTube. But I was listening to one of his videos, and he said when he started his YouTube channel, he said he was going to give it like 10 years. And after 10 years, if it didn't work out, then he would leave it alone. That's the same mentality you got to have when it comes to trading. A lot of y'all, I know we in this microwave, Insta gratification generation, but I promise you, if you give yourself time, when I first learned trading, listen, when they brought it to me, I said, I will never stop doing this until I master it. So I didn't care how long it took, right? We put age on everything. Like we gotta have this done by this point. And I get it because you, you gotta have goals and dreams, but you got to think about the KFC dude didn't get started in his 60s. There's so many other people that didn't get started until they was like older. They didn't make their first millions to 40, 50, 60 years old. You know what I'm saying? So you already ahead of the game with what you know. So if you're wanting to become a professional, successful trader, know it's going to take time, y'all. Some people will get it quicker than others, but just know it's going to take you some time. All right. But having your mind, it's all mindset. Having your mind that you're not going to stop doing this until you master it. Don't care how many accounts you blow. We don't care nothing about that. Because at the end of the day, people don't care about that either. They only care about the results at the end. Right? We don't care about how many times Jeff Bezos failed or Elon Musk failed in business. No. Nah. They're looking at where they is now and they net worth. You know what I'm saying? So you got to come with the same mindset when it comes to trading. All right? Because look. You either going, you either, you either in it or you not. That's just what it comes down to. You either in this trading thing or you not. So master your mindset. All right. Another thing you're gonna have to control is your emotions on these charts. A lot of y'all way too emotional. And you know why? Because you don't got multiple streams of income. You're depending on trading to do everything for you. That's that shouldn't be the case at all. You need a job, all right? You need a side business, something. You need multiple things coming on, coming in. So that way you don't have the pressure of the markets because the markets, it's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of stress, especially if you, you, you need it to pay bills and all that. So I would tell you, don't come in this market with money that you got to use to pay your bills. You know what I'm saying? That got to be the dumbest thing you could ever do. The market is unpredictable. Nobody can truly predict the market. You know what I'm saying? So anything can happen and you lose the rent money, you lose your mortgage payment, and now what? You're back to square one. All right, so you can't be making those kind of rookie mistakes at the beginning, all right? So I'm teaching you this from experience, so that way, as y'all continue to grow, you'll get better and better. You need to have rules in place, right? You need to have certain days you trade on, certain days you stay away from. If you're not doing that, you should be doing it. I get it, the market is fun at the beginning. You know what I'm saying? It get boring over time, because it's just every day, I mean, you're doing the same thing every day. Over time, it gets you know a little more boring. It's not as exciting as when you first learning it. But you get bored and you just want to get in the market. If that's the case, just hop in the demo account and do that. But don't keep trading on your real account all day long because you're going to keep putting your account at more and more risk all the time. And then you're going to be mad when you blow the account. All right. Another rule. You need to know how much you're willing to lose. How much are you willing to lose for the day? See, this is, this is why, uh, you know, a lot of people lose in trading because they don't have rules set in place. They... Going there and just trying to make money, trying to make money. They revenge trading all day. They're trying to get all the money back they lost, and that's how they're losing. You know what I'm saying? They're going to keep losing, too, until they master it. Until they, at, look, this journey of my life right now, what I'm figuring out is management is important. Learning how to manage your money. The Bible say you reap what you sow. So what are you sowing? You know what I'm saying? What are you sowing? Are you always sowing, oh, I'm on the charts 24-7. I'm trading from sunup to sundown. And you know how much risk your account is going to be at when you're doing it? Instead of having structure and say, okay, I'm only trading this day, this day, and this day. And I'm willing to lose $160. If I lose that, I got to get off. 
I got to go do something else with my time. I'll come back on the day, a, a different day with a fresh pair of eyes, and then we can execute from there. But if you constantly revenge trading, trying to get it all back, it's all rookie mistakes, y'all. It's all mentally. And it takes a while to develop because even myself, I haven't fully mastered a lot of stuff, and I've been doing this for years. But I'm still learning every day. You know what I'm saying? I'm still figuring it out. Okay, most of the time, it's not strategy. I done told y'all a million times. I don't care whose strategy you got. You can make the same money as all the other big traders you watch with the strategy you have right now. But it's their mindset that's getting them the results, not the strategy, y'all. It's not the strategy, bro. I've been, look, it took me a minute to figure that out. I used to be the same way. I'm looking up so many different strategies. Oh, this, that, and the third. And each strategy I made money with, but then the moment it stopped working, I let it go for something else. Right? Beginner mistakes. Rookie mistakes, you know what I'm saying? Stick to what you know and master this. This right here, this mind, is what is causing you to continuously lose and lose and lose, right? So if you want to become, if you want to go from beginner to, to this successful trader, quote unquote, right, whatever that is for you, you got to master your mindset. You got to even believe that you can hit certain numbers. You got to have a discipline, y'all. You got to have a, the, the structure, the discipline on these charts. By discipline, I mean whenever you're making money, you need to have a destination for it. So that way you will know, I need to stop at this point so I can get this thing done. Come up with a destination for your money. Mine right now is to pay off credit cards. As I'm making money, I got, okay, because my credit card, I'm going to have a balance of like <clears throat> 4000 I say, cool, I need to make you know, 1000 a week or two or 3000 in, in a couple of weeks to knock that card out. Boom. Now I got a destination for the money. So now I'm trading. I know exactly where this money is going. If you don't have a goal, if you don't have a, a destination for the money, <clears throat> you're just going to blow it, right? And then you're going to complain and say what you could have did with the money, knowing you weren't going to do it with it no way. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm to the point in life, y'all, like I'm starting my growth and maturity on these charts. Man, look, my boy Lowe, so shouts to Lowe's. Lowe's been trading way longer than me, like 15 years now. Some, somewhere up in there. He like up there. And, and, and he's good with making three to $500 a day, right? He come to the realization that always trying to get these big bags is going to cause you to lose everything. You know what I'm saying? Certain people are meant for that. You might not be meant for that. Some of y'all will be. Some of y'all, like I told you, I got students that's doing crazy numbers, and that's their portion. But your portion may not be to do that. Yours may just have, may be just to have this vehicle to use to distribute money to other things that you really want to do. You know what I'm saying? Because some of y'all got great talents and abilities. You know what I'm saying? You can sing. You can rap. You can dance. You do hair. You do art. You do trucking. You got all these ideas, restaurant businesses and all kinds of stuff that you want to do. And that's what Forex and binary options could be used for is to funnel money to those things a lot faster than you would normally be able to do it. But if you keep squandering and messing the money up and blowing the accounts, like, what are we doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, you really got to get in the mindset, OK, every dollar counts. It's not just, oh, when I get the big amount, it counts. Because trading will have you losing the value of money real quick. Like... The amount of money that you see people making on Instagram will have you looking at your account like, oh, man, I, ain't, I only made 200 today. Like, what? Bro, that's $200, and you made it in a quick, you know, time frame versus, you know, having to go work for it at a job. You know what I'm saying? So really tap back into that old person that really needed the money because some of y'all don't need the money as much no more, and you still blowing accounts because you're being reckless with the bread. And then some people... They, they really need, you know what I'm saying, every, every little dollar that comes in. So this is, what, this is what you can do. And this is part of discipline, structure, management. You could just start every profit. Let's say you throw $1,000 in the market. Every profit you make after $1,000, you take that money out or your Forex account and move it to the wallet, right? You know, every platform has a wallet. Withdraw it every day, move it to that wallet. You will see your compound, you will see your account compound a whole lot more than it ever would while you're just keeping it in there, right? Because the, we all know the more you got in your account, the more you're going to put at risk. The more you got in there, the bigger the lot size is going to get because now you're trying to get that bigger bag and that bigger bag. But if you constantly keep your account at the same amount and you're making money off of it every day, you're going to keep that lot size the same size, right? 
And, and, and some days, like I said, as, as trying to go from a beginner to an expert, this is the, the kind of stuff you're going to have to do. You're going to have to realize what days is good, what days is trash. Sometimes it's not you. Sometimes the market is just ugly. It's in consolidation. It's moving slow. It ain't giving you what you want. Some days you just got to cut it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just got to be like, all right, this is ugly. And some days, like I said, you will come out on fire. You can't miss. You might do that for a week, maybe even a month. And you're going to have some weeks and months that's just terrible. And that doesn't make you not a good trader. It just, it just ain't a good day. As long as your stuff line up, as long as your strategy, you sticking to them rules, and everything is, is lining up as far as the confirmations in the market, listen, you take the trade and you don't think about it. If it don't go within your entries or whatever the case is, it is what it is. You can't be mad because everything lined up how you saw it and you took it. That's perfect. But we know we can't be right 100% of the time. So understanding that, having a place for your money, moving your money to the side, and then constantly uh, withdrawing every week or every other week, paying yourself, listen, it does something to the mental. Constantly, that's why I'm telling you, I move money to the wallet every week or every other week, take a withdrawal, pay yourself, Get used to that feeling of how it feels to have money from the markets. That's going to build your confidence. And then if you want to compound a little bit bigger over time and then take out bigger withdrawals and stuff, you can. But it's baby steps, y'all. Right? This trading thing, listen, one of the biggest blessings you're going to ever come across. No cap. Really think about it, y'all. You can't go nowhere else and make this kind of money this fast unless it's illegal. You know what I'm saying? And even illegal money a lot of times ain't as fast as you can make it here. You know what I'm saying? So, listen, I'm telling you, if you do it right, you will make a lot more money. If you manage your money correctly in these markets, you will make a lot more. You feel me? And I got, like I told y'all before on the Binary Channel, I got that, that idea of moving money over from a guy in a casino. He said he would always go to the slot machines and he would make money every single time. And when I was at the casinos, I did too. But the thing is, I didn't take the money out and I kept playing and then lose all the money. Same thing with the market. So this is his solution for how he can always have money to bring home. He'll play the slot. He'll win. He'll cash that ticket out. He'll go cash the money out. Right. He'll take a portion of it and move it into his wallet, his actual wallet. But it was like a, a one that you can't like access unless you had a key. So he would stuff the money in there lock it to where he couldn't access it because the key was at home. It was already locked, I mean, but he could just stuff it in there. And then he would use the rest, a little bit of portion of the money to put back into the, the, uh, you know, the slots so he can potentially make more off of it. And it's the same way with trading. You making money, you moving that money over to secure it to that wallet. We don't touch it unless, now let, let me give you an example of the only reason why you would want to touch it. But you don't never want to touch the, the entire amount. Let's say you're in a trade and the trade is in drawdown, right? If the trade is in drawdown and you feel like you hold, you just solely believe it's gonna go in your direction, then if the drawdown is getting a little ugly, you might have to pull $100 or $50 or whatever over just to hold that trade a little bit longer because it's gonna shoot up. If that's the case, then I would say move a little bit of money over, but do not move the whole thing over because that's defeating the purpose. The whole goal is for you to have something to walk away with at the end of the trading week, you know what I'm saying? So. That's, what, that's the kind of stuff you got to do. And I'm telling you, it's going to work. A lot of people are already doing it on, on the squad. They're already like, yo, look, I've been moving money over here. I've been having money at the end of the week. Blessings. You know what I'm saying? Because the problem is, they didn't, look, trading is easy, bro. Sis, it's easy. We know how to make money. No cap. It's easy. Everybody watching me that made a couple dollars, at least two dollars. If you ain't made none, you got to go back to the drawing board. Because I promise you, Trading 50 50. So you're going to make money. That's a guarantee in these markets. You will make something. You know what I'm saying? You might lose a lot too, but you're going to make something. But it's the money that you make that you need to start parking somewhere else. We don't need to keep it in there. If we're constantly doing the same thing, expecting different results, that's what? Insanity. So why, are we, why do we keep putting more money into this market and blowing it? Putting more money in, blowing it. Putting more money in, blowing it. Something got to give, and it ain't your strategy. It ain't the strategy. It's you. <laughs> it's you. And when you figure that out and figure out why you keep losing, then your life will change. 
I found out why I was losing. Doing dumb stuff, the dumbest mistakes ever. Like, I have a trade that I'm believing in way too much. I would marry, what they call marrying a trade. That mug going down and it been showing me it's going down and it broke through every zone I put up, but yet, somehow, I still want to buy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just believing in the trade so much that I'm saying, you know what, it's about to go up and I'm putting every lot size you could think of on that thing and it then dropped another 40 pips and another 50 pips and I'm still buying. Stupid mistakes, you know what I'm saying? Stop me in trades. Uh, if it's not giving you, buy, at least set the zone. One, two, three. If it break past these three zones, I'm not getting in no more because that's the amount, of, you know, as many zones as I'm setting. If it break past this, I'm not doing it no more. I'm cutting this loss. And that hurts. Hey, it hurts, bro. I ain't going to lie to y'all. Cutting losses suck, especially like when your account was doing good. You know, you up six, seven hundred, and then you take a four hundred dollar loss. It's like, bro, you know what I'm saying? But you never know because that next day could be the best day ever. And then you go up a thousand, two thousand. And this is what y'all got to understand as people who, who may not who may not reach a certain level in trading. Every day is going to be different. And I promise you, if you treat it that way, your life will be so much better. You're going to have days that are just garbage. You know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, this sucks. And then you're going to have days where you meet your goal. Let's say your goal is $100 or $200. You had those days where you just hit it out the gate. Boom. Then you have those spectacular days where like you just on fire, you hot, you feeling it, you want to go a little bit bigger on the lot size, and then you hit a thousand in a day or two thousand. And just understand that this money has to be moved. If you ever do a big account flip, listen to me closely, y'all. If you ever do a big account flip, take the money out and start over. Because <laughs> there's something about doing a big account flip most people lose the money. And this is what I'm figuring out. So I tell people when I'm when they're doing binary options or Forex, binary, I'll talk about like the binary aspect of it. If you ever go from like a hundred dollars uh to like a thousand dollars in a day, take that money out and start back at a hundred dollars and then go from there. Because a lot of the times you're not gonna repeat it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I say you ain't gonna never repeat it, but at that time, if you notice, a lot of times you don't repeat it. You know what I'm saying? It get ugly at certain points. Like when you think you're just too high, you start feeling yourself, it get ugly. And then you're like, dang, I should have, man, I should have took all that money out. Happened to me a million times. So I'm telling you, if you ever do a huge account flip, take the money out, pay yourself, enjoy it and stack it and, and you know, whatever. But like think forward, y'all. Like if you need to pay your rent up for six months, start doing stuff like that. Like make trading really work in your life to where it's like, this is what I'm doing it for. I'm not doing it for the, the Lambos on Instagram and I'm not doing it for all that stuff. Like that stuff will come later on in life, y'all. Like, but do it for the right now, the stuff you need right now. Like I need to pay a payment on my student loan or I need to make sure I can at least pay my rent up for two months, you know, so that way I can breathe, you know what I'm saying? So like, man, I'm telling y'all, look, it, it don't take a lot to become successful. It just takes, you being better than you every day. You got to be better than you every day in these markets. Realize why you losing, y'all. Let me tell you a lot of the reason why people lose. They get in too early and then they, they ask like, okay, well, how do I know how to get in? Let me tell you the best ways to know how to get in. The best way, support and resistance. Hands down, best way. The market's gonna hit the floor and it's gonna hit the ceiling 100% of the time. It might break through one, but it's gonna hit another ceiling 100% of the time. The market will never not bounce. You get what I'm saying? That's 100% fact. The market will never not bounce off of a zone somewhere. It may not bounce off this first one, it may not bounce off that second one, but that third one, Likely to bounce. It might break through the third. That fourth one. It's going to hit one of them and bounce, and that's a guarantee. So if you're confused on how to mark up your zone, start at the daily. Mark up every point to touch and turn around. Every point to touch and turn around. Go down to the one hour. Do the same thing. Go down to the 15. Do the same thing. And if you trade on M5 or M1 or whatever or M15, however you want to do it, 
catch it at the bounce. You will, you will find that you will have way more success in your trading when you do it that way because you're going to get a bounce somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Now, you ask, like, how long am I supposed to hold it? You hold it to the next zone or until you're comfortable because everybody's lot size will be different, right? So if, if your lot size is 10 cent, you might want to hold it to the next zone. Or just hold it till you're comfortable with profit. So if I'm doing two standards and I hold it to the next zone, that might be 30 pips. And I might be up, you know, a, a decent amount, seven, eight hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a thousand, depending on what it is. And I might be good with that, and I'll scalp it and take that thing and move that thing to the wallet and be good. You know what I'm saying? So listen, trading is easy. What you come, what comes out your mouth is what's gonna, you know, bleed out to everything else. So if you always saying trading is hard, this strategy don't work, this sucks, blah, 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 woe is me, then it's going to always suck. And you ain't going to never make the kind of money you want to make. But I tell, I tell myself trading is easy. I listen to a guy by the name of Jim Rohn. Yeah, I know the motivational speaker Jim Rohn. He always used to say, getting rich is easy. And I believed it. And it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Same way with trade. Trading easy. It only go up or down. So now I just got to figure out, okay, how do I figure out where to enter? And I just told you, support and resistance, bro. The, be the easiest, best way to do it. Overbought, oversold levels. Like, understanding the trend. Is it an uptrend or a downtrend? Catch a bounce and ride the wave, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's it. I'm not saying it's going to be 100%, but at least you got at least 75% of, of, your, of your stuff. And the only part that's going to get you to the next level is your self-control your discipline, and your management. Once you get that, it's over, bro. It's not that deep. It's over. You get that under control, it's over. You will make a lot of money. You will have a lot of money. You will keep a lot of money. And then you'll be telling the same thing I'm telling y'all, man. So God is good, man. Look, that's how you could become a pro trader from being a novice. And it don't take that long. But the hardest part and the part that does take the longest is this. Trading easy. You can learn trading in six months to a year. You can learn how to trade six months to a year. You feel me? And you don't got to know everything about the market. I tell you all the time, my wife made six figures and she still don't know what support and resistance is. All she do is trade off the stochastic, bro. And, and she look at an M15 chart and an M1 chart for entries. That's it. Everybody different, bro. But I'm telling you, you don't got to know everything. I don't even know everything about the market. I'm still learning stuff, but a lot of that stuff confuses me in my, in my charting, so I don't need to learn too much more of what I already know. But again, if you want to go from, you know, this person who's not making as much to this person who's making a lot in the market or can do it easy simultaneously where it just looks effortless, master yourself. Set your rules and stick to your rules. The only reason why you keep losing is you're not sticking to your rules and you constantly putting more money in there and you're not sticking to them again. You say you're going to do it and you don't. And sometimes you just need a break from the market. Sometimes you might need to take a month off. Sometimes you might need to take a week off and just regroup yourself, you know, and just study. You know what I'm saying? And then come on back. And it's just that simple, y'all. I promise you. Do that stuff that I'm telling you and I promise you your life going to change forever, man. God is good. Lord willing. Look, I'll see you on another video. I'm about to start dropping these bangers. You feel me? Holla at your boy. Let's get it. Peace.